What we focus on this project is gesture-based learning. This involves teaching hand motion or gesture coincide with noun and verbs to provide visual prompts to students to initiate thinking and speaking in the target language. And now we have one lesson of 45 minutes and short lesson of 15 minutes. And we teach our conversation skills using gesture in that 15 minutes and we ask classroom teachers to sit with students and participate in the lesson. So the impact I've noticed has come in three different ways. One would be the increased, increased engagement levels. Two would be the accessibility to all the levels of learners that we have in the classroom. So that is through the gesture, the visuals that we have up and the uh, verbal they're offered. And number three would be the reduction in disruptive behaviours during these lessons. My son really enjoyed uh, learning Japanese. It's the first language he's learnt here at Blackfriars. The movement and also that visual component of watching his teacher do the gestures, I think really reinforced his learning of the actual word. Learning Japanese this year has been fun because it's been a lot of speaking and not so much writing. Gestures are good for keywords because you, usually you can remember all the words. Though if you get stuck, you can always remember your gestures. Something really positive that's come from this would be the engagement that I've had from families and parents as well. So we use Seesaw as our main medium and Chicago puts out a video to the families to show them what the focus gesture and words are for that week. And then they can watch it at home, practice together and I see it comes back into the classroom. With the videos, it let me be able to check uh, if he was saying it correctly, how it was being taught. If we were having lunch, you could then say, oh, you know, how would you do that in Japanese? Whereas without the videos, I would have, have no idea how to reinforce that at home. The increase in frequency of language inputs has made a marked improvement in student engagement and proficiency levels. Yeah, my Japanese learning has been better this year than last year because with the extra lesson time, I feel like my confidence has really improved and my fluency has come a lot better. So what we've found works best for us is a whole school approach. Uh, that means uh, support from leadership as well as classroom teachers. Innovation is at the forefront of Catholic education as our schools work to strengthen the provision of languages and cultures and grow our reputation as educators. At Blackfriars Priory School, increased time and frequency of language learning opportunities in addition to gesture-based learning with visual prompts, help to increase students' competency and fluency of Japanese. The students are becoming effective communicators of our future, literate in cultures beyond their own, and fluent in languages that will connect with communities around the globe.